after recent eye popping content that was released directly on their social media. Yo, yo, yo. What's good, world? Y'all already know who it is, man. I got another one for y'all, man. This one is crazy. It's about your boy, man. Aiden Rose. And, uh, it's, it's not looking good. Like, Kendrick already got Drake. You know, they got that beat. Supposedly, allegedly, they saying that Kendrick's going to be bringing Wayne out to the Super Bowl. Then Nicki and Drake. So, we're going to see. But right now, he's beefing with Aiden Ross. And this is a big ordeal, big situation. He's like one of the biggest YouTubers, you know, that's in the game. And, um, you know, they got some controversy going on, saying that Kendrick banned him from California. And uh, he can't come out there. And um, his boy Aiden got something to say. He got a lot of words he got to say about that with the Kendrick Lamar beef, man. And uh, y'all got to check this video out, man. This whole situation is stupid, you know, and uh, I never would have thought something like this would be going on. But y'all got to tell me y'all opinions, man, and let me know what y'all think. Hit them comments. Hit them comments and hit that subscribe button for me, man. I appreciate all the love support, man. Peace. Oh, FaZe Banks is calling me. Hey, Banks, I'm live. What's good? What up, baby girl? Say hi to the chat. It's goody chat. Yeah, I just saw some crazy clip about somebody saying you're not good in L.A. Yeah, some, like, fat guy. You need me to make a couple phone calls? Yeah, bro, that guy's that guy's nobody, but go ahead. You, you gotta be, I need you to be big brother at Banks and, and figure just, that out. Just letting you know you're always good in L.A. Oh, I know. I'll walk down, I'll walk down Melrose butt naked with, an <laughs> eight, with Aiden Roth tattooed on my chest. And we'll stream it and nothing will happen. That could actually piss me off. I know, like, who does he think he is, dude? No, nah, you're good. You should, cut, you should come to a fucking 72-hour live stream in L.A. Yeah, just, like, in the streets. I'm actually down at this point just to piss that guy off. You're good. You're good. 100% good. That's crazy. That's yeah, man. Crazy tell that, uh, tell that, tell that man, man. I, mean, I, don't, I don't even know if you know. I don't know him. Nobody does. <laughs> Nobody does. Thank you. You're good. Thank I randomly got linked that. Thanks, Banks. I love you, man. <laughs> now we're here. Smack A. Go full screen. Go full but, screen. But one, right? Mm hmm. But one, who is he calling? Oh. I ain't oh. Right. And I swear to God. And I swear to God, I'm going to slap him. And even if his security is from L.A., they're going to get slapped, too. So if he comes with a lot of town security, they really going to get smashed. There's no fly zone for him. He just he put himself in an equation that he can't get out of. Aiden Ross, no fly zone. Please let me know when you get to L.A. Please, brother, sister, I mean, auntie, please. Please, sweetie pie, please. No fly zone. Did somebody say pie? No fly zone. No fly zone. No fly zone. It's over for him. He inserted himself in something he can't take back. Mm, damn. It's over. Whoa. It's over. Don't come to L.A. Damn. It's over. The great words are smacked. And I, know, and, I, and I know a lot of motherfucking security people out here, so I will find out if he in the city. And he better not stream or none of that nigga. over. pull up on ya. Mm. On my mama. There it is. The, the words are smacked. That's the goddamn bottom line to you. That's, that's the bottom, that's the bottom, bottom line, line to you. Said he on your ass. And I don't want no, hey, and I don't want no rebuttaling, nigga. Mm, there there ain't no rebuttaling. No backpedaling, no rebuttaling, huh? No apologies? Nah, nah. He said it, now he got to stand on it. This is true. It's up. Aiden Ross, first, back on fig. Let's go. Let's go. Talk, talk, talking about, talking about bullshit podcast. Nigga, come to LA. Come on, young man. Come on. Let me show you, then I can tell you. Call me the boogeyman. I'm popping up. Smack <laughs> my mama, nigga. my is. mama, I'm popping up. So he better stand on business, but I'm going to hit y'all, though. All right, All right Smack. All right, Smack. Child, I'll be in L.A. very soon. You guys will know him, man. We'll do an IRL. I don't give a fuck. We're good, bro. We're good, man. I'm not worried at all. As soon as I touch down to L.A., who am I checking in with? Shit. <laughs> Y'all say, GG, I lived in L.A. for four years, bro. I'll come right back. It's nothing. People, people, people got to move smarter instead of saying shit online. That's the most stupid thing you could do. What did he say? You can't go to L.A.? He said security gets popped. Some shit like that. Oh, wow. Threaten my life. Can't threaten life like that. 
FaZe Banks just called Aiden Ross and said this after Aiden just got banned from LA by Kendrick Lamar's associates. Quick context, I'll show you the short clip of Kendrick Lamar's associates telling Aiden Ross that he is banned from LA and not to go there. There's no fly zone for him. He just put himself in an equation that he can't get out of. Aiden Ross, no fly zone. Please let me know when you get to LA. Please, brother, sister, I mean, auntie, please. Please, we buy. Please. No fly zone. Somebody say pie? No fly zone. No fly zone. No fly zone. Don't come to LA. Then this Don't come to LA. Nigga, do what I. Hey, the Ross, let me, uh, let me give you a tip. Security get popped every day, B. So come do it. Go to jail for the rest of your life. It's so worth it, bro. Your shitty life. Come on, let's try it. Let's, let's, let's make some magic happen. Come on, try it. At least you'll go to jail for, what, minimum five years in L.A.? What is it? I'll get, I got the best lawyers of all time, baby. Let's do it. And I'm going to low-key sue you for that. You want to? I can't wait. Yo, let me get that clip again. Put that on my phone right now. Send that right to my lawyer. I promise you I'm serving you ASAP. Don't ever threaten my life again, you big bitch. Go see L.A. is a fucking toxic, poisonous place. Horrible. All I got to say is the people around me are getting affected by L.A., and that's what's making me want to get the fuck out of here mm. even quicker. This is the hell of Earth. I swear wow. to God. It's, it's weird because it's a hell that's Whoa. like, it's a hell disguised as like an amusement park. It's like, dick, 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 I'm not welcome right now to do what I wanted to do in L.A., if that makes sense. There's certain things that happen behind closed doors. I'm going to be the bigger person and, and, and act like a 23-year-old I am. Yeah. Cool, cool. Mics are good. Banned from L.A. I'm not banned from L.A., bro. I yeah, wish somebody would. I swear to God. I'm going to go to L.A. Nobody's going to do shit to me. I promise you, bro. I don't give a fuck. Like, you think I'm scared of L.A.? What? I lived in L.A. for years and years and years. I'm not banned from L.A. Fuck that old-ass motherfucker on that podcast, bro. I'll smack the shit out of you. Well, not me, <laughs> but I'm going to have security smack the fuck out of you. Not me. I, I don't, I, you know, but I'm gonna have security smack the fuck out of you and beat your ass. It's that simple, bro. I love all the Crips and Bloods in LA. Everybody's good. <laughs> Kendrick people have no beef. Okay. Nah, good nah. Kid Mad City was a decent album. Decent. <laughs> it was pretty good. I liked it. Whatever, bro. Look, you guys know how I feel about the music shit. Whatever. If an old head is really that mad because I'm choosing sides, whatever, bro. You're, you're like yeah, 50 years that? old. I don't know. Go start a family. Go, 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 go do some shit. Go, go, go play poker or chess. You're old. All right. Get off, get off the internet shit. It's not for you, buddy. All right, eight updates. I'm gonna go to LA. Nobody's gonna do shit to me. I promise you, bro. I don't give a fuck. Like, you think I'm scared of LA? What? I lived in LA. Oh my gosh, bro. For years and years and years, I'm not banned from LA. Fuck that old ass motherfucker on that podcast, bro. I'll smack the shit out of you. Well, not me, but I'm gonna have security smack the fuck out of you. Not me. I, I don't, I, you know, but I'm gonna have security smack the fuck out of you and beat your ass. It's that simple, bro. All right, get off, get off the internet shit. It's not for you, buddy. Damn, I mean, bro, like the other guys in the wrong, like in a way, cause like it shouldn't be that serious, like. Twenty One Savage bans Aiden Ross from Atlanta after Aiden Ross catches him cheating during this card game, right? So you had. 21 Savage playing cards with streamer Aiden Ross. When Aiden Ross turned his back, 21 Savage and his man's over there cheating, right? His man's pointing to the card. He must have had a, a mark card, must have switched the deck or something, right? So the people on the live basically pointed out like, man, that boy over there cheating. Because, you know, you can't trust niggas, right? Niggas, 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 niggas be cheating. Why niggas always get into it when they be playing games and shit, right? But 21 Savage got caught cheating doing the card game for 250000 mind you, and which he ain't probably about to pay. But A. Ross basically, like, called him a cheater. Like, why you, why you out here cheating? You know what I'm saying? And uh, 21 Savage turned around and banned him from Atlanta, like, you know how niggas be. I dare you call me a cheater after you done call me cheating doing this card game. You know how niggas be. So now, uh, Aiden Ross can't come to Atlanta if you let 21 Savage tell it. Yeah. <laughs>